Hey guys, Papa Pete here again today. Special episode of Old Guys and Old Games because I'm going to take a look at it too. It's the game that was released to the Intellivision homebrew community by Sky Waffle, uh, otherwise known as Matthew Keel, uh, creator of the fantastic uh, award-winning 2021 Game of the Year Physical Edition in Intellivania. And that is Contra right there. Now it's a very initial release. It was released on January 1st as a Happy New Year's gift to the community. You can see in the post right here from Atari Age. Uh, and also, like I say, from the creator of Intellivania. Intellivania, of course, one of the most infamous and most fantastic uh, recent homebrews made uh, for the system. It's available still from Intellivision Revolution. Uh, the ROM is available from Intellivision Collector. You should check that out. And it's even kind of neat because you can get T-shirts. You can get T-shirts now for, on TeePublic from Intellivision uh in television revolution um all the different things take a look here but uh, anyway let's get back to the point at hand and that is on january 1st uh this year uh sky waffle uh matthew keel released uh the initial offering his initial creation of stage one of a contra clone a contra port for the intellivision and you know there would have been a day when i would have thought it's impossible to put something like this over onto the intellivision but not anymore because, I mean, look at what Intellivania did, right? Look at the things that they're doing. Um, so anyway, without any further ado, uh, actually going to do this a little bit different today. I am going to play the game first live right here. Live, recorded live, I guess. And then I'm going to actually show you a comparison video side by side of both the opening stage of the NES Contra as well as the Intellivision Contra right through to the end. So it's rather interesting to see those videos side by side to see just how similar they are and how many wonderful things that uh, Keel was able to bring over into this Intellivision homebrew release. So anyway, let's get over and let's play some live Contra first. Shall I uh, throw my throw my controller down in frustration because it's a very difficult game to play one hit. Uh, a little bit different with this controller. This would be the perfect spot for uh, Kote Gamer's new controller, which I haven't got one yet. I don't know. If I, I, haven't, I'm not, I haven't ordered one. But uh, hopefully I get one someday soon, and it will be a better controller to play with this game. But anyway, I still love this controller, so let's move it over to the ultimate flashback. Here we are. All right, let's start her up. Coco wants in the basket, though. There she is. Coco's in the basket. So you can't hear a whole lot yet. Listen to this sound when I hit the button to start one player. All right, okay. So we got to... Right here. All right, here we go. Oh, I think I missed I missed my machine gun right off the get-go, so that's not a very good way to start. My machine gun trying to get the full screen on here so I can play, but it'll be very difficult. I'll be starting again here in a second, I can guarantee you. Very difficult. All right, good. Now we can start it. I can see the full screen. We'll see how we go. We'll just play through one or two game uh, run-throughs of this, see if I can get into little ways. Then we'll go to the actual video where I have gone through the whole thing, but it's not something I'm going to be able to do every time, I'll tell you that. It's very, very difficult gameplay. Early, early rendition, right? It's going to be tweaked. So that's, that's fine. Very important to get that first machine gun because it lets you hold in the button instead of trying to hit that side button repeatedly. To, uh... All right, here we go. Let's keep my machine gun. Thank you. Oh, it jumped up on me, the bugger. I have to hit the one button at a time. But, get rid of him. 
Get down. Okay. Okay, we'll get the spread gun. Oh, but I can maybe get the laser here. Oh, didn't get it. That's the problem. It's just a little bit harder than the desk there. Try to get down. We'll try it one more time, and then we'll go into the side-by-side -side video, and I'll show you exactly what uh, what this whole game is all about and how it compares with the original uh, NES Contra. Not the original. Yes, the arcade is probably the original. But you know what I mean. This is modeled after the NES Classic. That's a good start. Yes, I do want down there. I find that it's much better to work from here than this version of the game. No, so much for that. That was a good idea. And just like that. Oh, one more time. I gotta go one more time. These games are so quick, it's crazy. 8300, all right, let's see if we can get a little ways in. We'll get that spread gun again and maybe get towards the end. I don't know. Ooh, almost get hit right there. We got the, we got the machine gun. Get rid of those guys. Stay down. Oh, come on. Okay, we're going to try to get the spread gun. Don't really want the laser. Oh, well, I'll take anything now, though. That's too bad. I sat around too long. All right. Oh, you bugger. Just like that, took me right out. It's a very difficult game. So let's take a look at this and you'll see the entire uh, stage one for both uh, the NES version and the Intellivision version. So here we go.
Okay, so there you have it. Just shows the amazing things that can be done uh, with the Intellivision system. It was a much more powerful, especially the music, eh? Much more powerful than was originally given credit for. Uh, the graphic limitations are very real, but people work their way around that. Like, the character didn't look as good. And that's fine, you know, with the limitation there. But the music and the sounds are wonderful. The gameplay is not too bad. Just needs to be tweaked to make it not quite so hard. Not, uh, It's not as fluid as the NES version. But I tell you, it could be a lot worse. I'll tell you that for sure anyway guys thanks a lot for spending a little bit of time with me today looking at this fantastic uh hopefully upcoming homebrew release or maybe it'll only ever be a little toy to be played with a little teaser for the whole community which is okay too because it's just great to see people working at games like this anyway guys don't forget to hit like comment subscribe and we will see you in the next episode of old guys and old games you take care Papa P, Papa P, the old Ass gamer, pee, papa, pee, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age Hello. of 15, I am Michael Hayes from Midnight Blue International. I am the author of the Bump and Jump Level Editor, along with Fubar, A Better Mousetrap, and many other Intellivision games and ROM hacks. You are watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer.